Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann. I am your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Napa Valley Cabernet. The best Cabernet in the world. If you watch my show on a regular basis, you know that I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Napa Valley Cabernet. And in this show, I want to share with you who are, which are, my favorite Napa Valley Cabernets in 2021. And the way I went about it is I didn't want to look at a specific year. As you know from many of my shows, I believe that in this decade, 2016 was the best year in Napa Valley for Cabernet. 2018 is almost on par, more approachable right away, right now. The 2016s with a strong tannin structure have to sit in your cellar for a little bit longer. But 2012 drinks great right now, 2013 drinks great right now, 2014 drinks great right now. So the only wines really to be a little bit careful with and avoid is the 2011, which wasn't a great year, and 2017, which was a year that was impacted significantly by the wildfires, as will be 2020. I'm judging them by how the 2018 or the 2016 are tasting. And here are my top 10 in order of lower priced on my left to your right, higher priced on my right, your left. And I cut it off at about $100. You know that you can't get many Napa Valley Cabernets for less than $30. So it starts at about $30, goes up to about $100. Beyond that, there is of course many very, very good Napa Valley Cabernets, but you know, who can afford on a regular basis to spend $200 or even $500 for a Cabernet? So out of the about 400 plus vineyards in Napa, I chose 10 and 10 of their Cabernets that I like specifically and what I recommend to you today. Starting off here with number one, the Beringer Knights Valley. If you watched my show, 2018 Napa Valley Cabernets below $30. This is it. You can get the Knights Valley Beringer for $29, ladies and gentlemen, $29. It is rated Vivino 4.2 for the 2018 and 4.1 for the 2016. What I like about that wine is the vibrant core, black ripe fruit, a little bit of peppercorn in the wine. It's a big wine, has some Merlot added into it to make it more approachable, very drinkable and the best bargain wine in Napa Valley. On number two, I have listed for you the Buena Vista. Small little lot shop. I checked the prices. On average, you're getting it for about $35. The 2018 was out of this world, rated in Vivino 4.4, and the 2016 4.3. You can see at these two wines already that the average population likes the 2018s better than the 2016s because the 2016s have too much tannins for many, but they are the wines that last longer. The Buena Vista is full-bodied, high alcohol, enticing acidity, big fruit, mostly blackberry and blackcurrant, some earthiness, some leather. It's just a complexity in a wine that you don't see very often at $35, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I have next here in the lineup, the Barnett. The Barnett is a mountain side Cabernet. It's on top of the mountain. You look down into the valley floor from there. We visited this vineyard in April when my team was in Napa Valley. It is a great mountain side Cabernet. Sells for about $75, a little bit more pricey. 
4.5 and 4.4 are the BBNO ratings for the 2018 and the 2016. Well, I like the Barnett other than the location. The location is fabulous. You have to see it when you go to Napa Valley. Black currant, caramel, sweet chocolate flavors in that vine. Has some good tannins and the fresh acidity that comes from a mountain wine where they, they typically have gravel and the water on the ground and the soil running through much faster. So that's a Barnett. On number four here, again, this order is more by price than it is by my priority, is the Groff. The Groff 2016 right now drinks fabulous. The Groff can be uh, obtained for about $63 average price right now. They are rated 4.4 for the 2018, 4.2 for the 2016. It's a big wine, a lush wine, has huge fruit, mostly blackberry, um, a very, very approachable wine right now. Next one is a wine that many of you have definitely not heard about. It's a newcomer to Napa Valley AXR. The fabulous four, three businessmen and Swiss winemaker Jean Herflinger opened up this vineyard in St. Helena. I had the chance to get by there and visit it and tasted all these wines that they have. Unbelievable. It's a fresh acidity wine, good tannins, uh, dark fruit mostly. Uh, very, very great discovery and um, their showroom, beautiful and has a nice backyard as well. Can highly recommend that. Moving on, everybody knows this baby. It's the Camus, the regular Camus. It's a fruit forward in your face wine, black currant, blackberry, as much as you can. Chuck Wagner does not age these wines very long. That's why they're oftentimes critiqued. Also the fruit forward style, some people love it, other people can't stand it. So there is a hate and love relationship with the general population in Canis. But every time I serve it to my friends, to my clients, they always are on the side of the Canis lovers. The Canis sells for about $90. Sometimes you can get a bargain. Uh, when some of those big retailers like a Costco buys a lot of them and all of a sudden offers you the bottle for 75. When you see that, you should buy it because two years, three years later, you can sell it for more than a 75 or $80 bargain price. The wine was rated in 2018 4.5 and in 2016 4.6. Another one that many people have not heard about, the Arkansas. It's at the north end of Napa Valley to the east of Calistoga. It's a beautiful mountain cabernet, one of my favorites of late. The uh, Arkenstone sells for about $95. That's the NVD version of the Arkenstone. 4.4 rated for the um, Vivino store in 2016. 2018 is not out yet. It's blackberry, blackcurrant, a little bit of raspberry in there. Fresh acidity, again, it's a mountainside wine, earthiness with it. It's just a beautiful flavor profile. I'm starting off here with a legend in Napa Valley, Nick and Nickel. Many of you have had this before. Nick and Nickel probably by now has over a dozen single vineyards. This one is the State Ranch, which is one of their more popular vineyards that is in distribution quite a bit. These Nickel and Nickels run for about a hundred, hundred and five, hundred and ten dollars. So slightly even edging up over a hundred. It's typically a very juicy wine, chocolate, the typical vanilla flavors that you have in these nickel nickels, dried herb, good tannin structure in there. 4.6 rated for the 2018, also 4.6 rated for the 2016. I am introducing to you another wine that many have never heard of, Tom Eddy, a legendary winemaker up in Calistoga. This happens to be the Kerry Vineyard 
which is right there at his uh, headquarters in Calistoga. Tom Eddy has about eight, I believe now, single vineyards. The winemaking is beautiful. Uh, it's, a, um, it, it's a very approachable wine. I'm drinking right now the 2012 and the 2013. I had when I was sitting with Tom around the fire pit at my visit in April the 2014, which was drinking great. And uh, 2016 and 18 are not even out yet. And so far, the ones that are out are rated 4.5 or higher. Inside the Tom Eddy Wine Cave. What we do is um, just left it um, like this. And everything else has, you know, leaf on and impermeable glass to keep the water from coming in. And then eventually, this is. Last but not least, Maya Kamas, another mountainside wine. We're on an off-road vehicle at the Maya Kamas Vineyard. There's some gate here we need to. Ah, says somebody opens. And where are you driving us to now? So you arrive at about 1,800 feet elevation. We're going to move up to about 2,300 uh, 20, feet elevation. Oh, wow. We are now at about 2,300 feet. Recently, significant popularity occurred after the finishing in the top 10 of Wine Spectator's rating for the 2015 and the 2016. In fact, they were top five back to back. People are starting to like the acidity rich force that comes out of those mountainside Cabernets. This one has a little bit more red fruit, like red currant, cherry, but there's some blackberry in there, there's some raspberry in there, there's some plum in there, black tea uh, notes. A very, very interesting wine. Unfortunately, because of the very limited production, the Maya Camus runs for about $130. Ah! This is it, ladies and gentlemen. These are 10 of my absolute favorite wines in Napa Valley on the Cabernet site in 2021. If you like this show, please press the subscribe button. That way you can be assured not to miss any of my shows. Like this video, that would be helpful too. And follow me on Vivino and on Instagram. And I see you next Sunday.